Hi guys, in this video we're going to be painting the zebra. Um, get your canvas out and ready. Scoop out a little bit of your paint colors onto your mixing plate. I've got five, black, white, blue, bright yellow, and red. You're going to need an assortment of brushes. I've got three different ones here. Um, you might even want a bigger one for this one for the background. You're gonna need a jar of water. Mine's a little dirty. I just painted the donuts. And a paper towel for drying your brushes off once you get them rinsed out from your cup. So I'm gonna get started with my big brush and I'm going to paint just everything around the outside of my zebra head and neck. I'm gonna use just black paint. Very easy, we don't need to mix anything. And I'm gonna just get this whole area filled in. So take your time around the edges. Just nice, thin, even coat of paint. Get all the little white specks filled in of the canvas showing through. Smooth out any globs. ear short there it's okay I can fix it later I'm gonna flip it just so I can get at this part a little bit easier I want to touch the wet paint Done. Get it flipped back over correctly, and I can start painting my zebra. So I'm gonna do his little snout here. Um, I drew these on on mine. I'm probably not gonna draw them on on yours because we're gonna paint over, and they're easy enough to put back in. And even if we sharpied them, it still probably won't show through. So we're just gonna pretend like that's not sketched in. Yours aren't pretend like mine aren't either. I'm going to make a nice gray color. So I'm gonna take some white over here and a little bit of black, stir that in. Make me a little bit darker, that's a lot bit darker. So about like that maybe, maybe a little bit light darker. There, I'm gonna lighten it up with some white once we get it on there. So I'm gonna just come in and get this painted. I'm gonna start with my outside edge first here. So 
and then maybe on this edge over here. I'm not going to worry so much about the middle part at this moment. Okay, so I've kind of got all around the outside. Then I'm just gonna scrape the extra off of my brush. I've got a lot, especially from stirring my paint. And then just a little bit of white. I'm just gonna fill in the rest by blending that gray color throughout. And that way the middle of the nose will stay lighter and the outside edge will be darker. So just back and forth blend. Nice long strokes, it works better. Kind of do circular, kind of curved on the edge. And we've got our little snout finished. So the rest of him, we are going to just fill in white. So we want a nice clean brush. And we'll fill in the rest of the body. We'll go around the eyes, that's easy to go around. We'll fill in the head, the ears, and the neck with just white paint. So just some white on my clean brush. Start over here because my paint is dry. If your black isn't dry, give it a minute to dry. Because you won't want to turn your zebra gray. You can actually paint right over the eyes. You can see them through the paint. See, that was not dry, and I smeared it in. I'm going to just try to avoid that spot so I don't keep getting black blended. Then when it's dry, I can go back in with another coat of white and cover that up a little bit better. Just taking my time around the edge of this little snout. And I'm going to do the neck. Flip it. And this should be dry. Cover that up a little better. And it's not perfect, but that's okay. Adds character. So now we're gonna start by adding all the fun rainbow stripes. I'm gonna use my small brush that's kind of square, if you can see it. And let's do right from this i'm gonna blow it dry just so we're safe and we gotta be nice and dry so make sure yours is nice and dry and we're gonna 
start with red, my small brush, and I'm gonna do stripes off the top of this up, right to the top of his head. So I'm gonna go right in the gray, and I'm gonna just go straight up for one side, and then on the other side of that, I'm just gonna curve the line a little, and I can fill that in. And on the other side, kind of curve up like this. And do it the same. So the top part is a little bit wider and then the bottom is skinny. And then go right into the gray. On the sides of the head, I'll do red as well. And I'm just gonna kind of curve under the eye a little and kind of make a triangle like shape but the top is a little bit curved and then i can fill that in as well on the other side i'm going to try to match it under the eye a little bit of a curve and then fill it in And then down on his neck, I want stripes. So I'm gonna do a red one here. On the left side. And it's a little curve to it. And below, on the other side, another red one. So he's got red stripes next we're going to do orange stripes to do orange we're going to mix the little bit of red that's on our brush and with some yellow stir it till you get a nice orange color Make sure you mix yourself up enough orange doesn't cover that nicely you might want to do two coats i'm just going to do one on this side, I'm just gonna do a very skinny orange, much skinnier than the red. The top can be wide, but I want the edge no further out than his little gray snout. And under, the red stripes on his face. I'm gonna do a little orange one. <coughs> Excuse me. And then again, a little bit below where that red one is. We're gonna do an orange one. They're just long, skinny triangles. Next, we're going to do yellow, so we want a nice clean brush. So I've got a little room for yellow on the cheek here, just a little on my brush. Get a little yellow stripe. And then on the neck, we'll do two, one on each side again. Long, skinny triangles. Next is green. I'm gonna take a little bit of blue, just a little bit, and stir it in with quite a bit of yellow. And on the neck, I'm gonna do one on each side. And as I go down, because the neck gets wider, your triangles can start getting longer. Cause we got a crisscross kind of, they, 
but they make a bit of a zigzag. If you look at just the white space, it kind of makes a, a zigzag. And then we'll do blue. So for blue, we're just gonna use the blue on the plate. We don't need to mix. We're just gonna get our brush cleaned out well and good. I am gonna flip it just because I can't get at it with the lip of my easel. So I'm just gonna flip mine over. Going to use a little bit of blue. And we'll start on this side this time. Nice zigs, not zigzag, but triangle. And on the opposite side, we've got our blue on that side as well. I'm gonna go and do the ears and the eyes black and also the little nostrils. So I'll start with the ears. And I'm just gonna paint right inside. Fill that in black. Paint his eyes black. And I'm going to give, put the nostrils in. So they're just kind of long. I'll do kind of like a swoop like this way. And then connect it on the other side. So it's like a curve and then we just make it a little bit wider so it's skinny on the top and the bottom and thick in the middle ish so about like that and I'm gonna switch into a smaller brush to give him a little smile so I'm gonna use my long skinny brush I like to add a little water into my paint when I'm doing line work it just helps it flow and I'm going to give him a cute little smile that's, oops, I got a big old glob of paint on that tip of my brush. And I'll do his little lines. Oh, he's cute. Next, we get to do his crazy hair on top, which is gonna be super fun. I'm gonna use my medium-sized brush. And we can use any colors we want. Um, how about just like a nice bright pink I'll make. Um, I've got some orange, maybe some purple. So I've got, I'll do, I'll make a nice bright pink again. And this time I'm gonna add a little bit of a little bit of blue to it. So you make bright pink and add a little bit of blue and you have purple. So let's give eh, I'm gonna just kind of make a little stripe off the side off of each. I'm gonna make it come out a little. Oops. So I've got hair. Maybe let's do bright pink one. Some crazy bright pink hair. Maybe a little bit more white in that. So it shows up better on the black. And maybe, maybe a little bit more bright pink hair. I'm just kind of 
Just brushing it on, making it fun and crazy. Clean out my brush because I want to add some white. I need some white hairs because he's zebra is striped. So in between my colors, maybe put in some white hair just in between. <laughs> he's got crazy hair. All right, I'm just kind of getting a lot of white on and then I can go back in with my colors. I want it to go right on this head. So I don't have a black gap. And now I'm gonna blow it dry and I can get my colors back on. Let's do our purple. Let's try to get this better. So I got my purple. Let's redo that one. Nice purple stripes. Some bright pink stripes. And how about some orange? I got my orange. I can get some orange in there. I'm going to brighten up my white in the middle, so it's got a nice white stripe in the middle. Very cute. Now he needs some white stripes over on the sides too. That turned orange. There. Oh, he's adorable. Crazy hair. And you can do those any color you want. It doesn't matter. Just give him some crazy hair. <laughs> He's so cute. All right. Um, I think I just have one more little thing to do, and we're finished. I'm just gonna take my long skinny liner brush. I'm gonna add a few little hairs in the ears. So just like one, two, three little little hairs. One, two, three. And I'm gonna put a little bit of a reflective light in the eye. I'll do the right hand side, just a little swoop on the right hand side of both of the eyes. And I think we're finished. We'll just sign my name. I've got a little bit of white on my brush. I'm gonna squeeze it in right down here. And done. When you guys are finished, take pictures. I like seeing your work. Um, you can post right to my Facebook page, Willy Nilly. There's a post pin right at the top where you can upload and share and I can check them out. Um, I hope you enjoyed doing this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.